All right, question number two is um, a great application of how we use free body diagrams and SUVOT all together. So we've got a five kilogram block. Um, we don't even need to worry about static friction because we're already moving. So let's just do something right here. We've got a five kilogram block. Let's go ahead and get its weight. Um, that's going to be five times 10, which is going to be 50 newtons. And we've got a coefficient of kinetic friction equal to 0 0.2. Now, we're going to start by drawing a free body diagram. The block is actually moving to the right, in case you had any doubts. So we've got a kinetic friction force going to the left. We've got the normal force going up and the weight force going down. So let's get the size of the normal force. Uh, we'll balance forces, so the normal force minus the weight force equals 0. And so when we solve, that's how we're getting a weight force of 50 newtons. Now it says calculate the size of the frictional force um, opposing the motion of the box. So that kinetic friction force is going to equal mu kinetic times the normal force. And in this case, that's going to be... Um, 0 0.1 times 50, which is 5 newtons. So, for part C, let's get the acceleration. Um, now, when we actually set this up, uh, it's almost like we have no applied force going to the right. So I almost want to fill in 0 minus 5 equals 5 times A. So the acceleration is negative 1 meters per second squared. And now we can use SUVOT. So V equals AT plus U. 0 equals negative 1 times the time plus the initial speed of 30 meters per second. And when we solve, we're going to get that t equals 30 seconds. Okay, now let's use SUVOT to get the distance. So S equals 1 half at squared plus u times t. That's going to be 1 half times our acceleration, which is negative 1, times 30 squared plus 30 times 30. When I actually work all this out, it's going to end up giving me 450 meters of distance. So that is the second page.